All right, guys, we got multiple projects going on at this location. Today, more than 30 volunteers spent their day giving back at Albert Ruschel's home on Ivy Drive. It's part of Coco's Veterans Day house cleanup. Ruschel couldn't be more excited. <laughs> I need painting, a little bit of demo, somebody who can put together some patio furniture. They're going to uh, paint for one thing, and that's an important thing. We're going to throw some 2 by 4 by 16s across. I don't climb the ladder as well as I used to anymore. So it's, uh, it's, it's good that they're doing this. I appreciate it. All right, all right. Volunteers had the front of the house looking new in less than an hour. Around back, Ruschel couldn't believe his eyes. They're picking up stuff that I never even knew I had anymore. <laughs> Ruschel served in the Air Force during the Korean conflict. He's 82 now, and some of this upkeep just became too much for him. One guy mowed the overgrown backyard while others pruned trees and tore down the dilapidated fence. Once the fence is down, the volunteers are building a new one. It's wonderful. Everyone from Coco's mayor to the chief of police and several officers and firefighters to school kids pitched in to help on their day off. Home Depot donated all these supplies, plus a few team leaders. They're probably on the grass. They even threw in an outdoor dining set so Ruschel and his wife can enjoy their new and improved backyard. While the volunteers appreciate this elderly vet's service, Ruschel could not have been more appreciative of the dozens of helping hands. Thanks a million. In Coco, Holly Bristow, Fox 35 News.